James Kaufman, World News Report. Today, September 9th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Far side explosion causes radiation storm on Earth. Protons are currently raining down on Earth today, following an, a huge far side explosion on the sun. It's an S1 class solar radiation storm. The far side blast hurled a magnificent coronal mass ejection into space. The coronal mass ejection was recorded by the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO. Shockwaves in the leading edge of the coronal mass ejection accelerated the protons and scattered them throughout the solar system, even towards Earth on the opposite side of the sun from where the solar flare erupted. Earth's magnetic field is capturing the particles and funneling them towards the poles where they are causing a polar cap absorption event or a PCA. Over to GOES Proton Flux 5 minute data we see that we are in fact in a proton storm, an S1 solar storm. Unbelievable from a far side explosion and coronal mass ejection. Just try to imagine if that had been earth facing we would be talking about big problems, perhaps even lights out. Over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we actually see that polar cap absorption event. Protons are pouring in both our north and south poles, and there's a huge radio blackout in these areas. Earth is also being Pounded with radiation, folks. Absolutely pounded. Besides that huge backside event, we've had several M flares, and we almost maintained an M baseline for some time. We've just had a stronger M flare. We'll take a look at those flares and see where they originated from. Over to spaceweatherlive.com, we see that we've had four. M-class solar flares, the latest being the largest, an M3.47. That was out of Sunspot AR3814. We also had an M1 out of Sunspot 3811. And 3806 actually created an M1.8 solar flare and an M1 solar flare. Currently, we have a 15% chance of an X-class solar flare. There should be a 100% chance of an M-class solar flare, as we've already seen one today, and a 100% chance of a C-class solar flare, as we're running a C-plus baseline and have been for months. This M3.47 is the largest flare we've seen in over three days. Taking a look at that last M3.4 solar flare. It originated from the sunspot group right here, AR3814. We also had activity originate from AR3811 here, and activity out of the departing limb sunspot, AR3806 here, where our geomagnetic connection to the sun lies. Besides being in a S1 solar storm currently, we're also looking for a geomagnetic storm at some point tomorrow on the 10th. This is a warning from NOAA here, G2 Geomagnetic Storm Watch for September 10th. It's going to be midday into the evening tomorrow and into the 11th according to this notice. This geomagnetic storm was caused by the filament eruption we discussed yesterday that created a halo CME. And both NOAA and NASA have it modeled to hit Earth almost directly. Over to NASA's Goodard Isla Spiral, we see that huge CME that was created by the solar flare on the backside of the Sun. Looks like it's headed directly for Venus. Osiris Apex, and Solo. And this looks like a very strong and large eruption, obviously. If we're having a solar storm here on Earth, 
which is in the exact opposite direction, this was a whopper. With that said, this promises to only get worse, and it's just a matter of time until one of these huge X flares and coronal mass ejections ends up being Earth facing and bringing a big hurt to Earth's technological advancements. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in the bizarro world.